Picture a world where travel across the globe happens in mere minutes. Imagine being able to launch a military operation and return home before the sun sets, all while defying current technology. For decades, the U.S. military has led the charge in aviation. But as new global rivals emerge, the need for something faster, stealthier, and more powerful is undeniable. Enter the SR-72, a next-generation hypersonic aircraft poised to rewrite the future of warfare. The SR-72 isn't just an aircraft, it's the future made real. Mach 6, six times the speed of sound, may sound impossible, but this machine is designed to defy the laws of physics. With its cutting-edge propulsion, it promises to reach anywhere on Earth in less than 90 minutes. So why does the U.S. military need it? And why is the world so desperate to keep it a secret? To understand the SR-72's significance, we need to go back in time to the Cold War. During the 1960s, the SR-71 Blackbird was the ultimate reconnaissance aircraft flying higher and faster than anything before it. Outrunning missiles, outpacing enemy radar, and gathering intelligence from above, it was a true marvel of technology. But as time passed, the landscape changed. The SR-71, once unmatched, was no longer the fastest on the block. The technological arms race between global superpowers intensified, and new challenges emerged, making the Blackbird seem old-fashioned. With Russia developing new missiles and China ramping up its aerospace capabilities, the U.S. needed something that would go beyond Mach 3. Enter the SR-72, a hypersonic aircraft with a single mission. Dominate the skies. The SR-72 isn't a simple update. It's a revolution in air combat and reconnaissance, ready to soar at inconceivable speeds and take on the role of intelligence gathering and precision strikes in ways we've never seen before. Now let's delve into the heart of the SR-72, its propulsion system. Unlike any traditional aircraft, the SR-72 uses combined cycle propulsion. For subsonic speeds, it uses a turbine engine. But the real magic happens when it hits Mach 3. At that point, the aircraft switches to scramjet propulsion, allowing it to suck in air at incredible speeds and use it to propel the aircraft beyond Mach 6. This system is revolutionary because it eliminates the need for mechanical parts to keep the engine going, allowing for unprecedented thrust. The only challenge? Heat management. The SR-72 flies so fast that the friction against the air creates temperatures high enough to melt metal. To combat this, the SR-72 is constructed from advanced composite materials capable of enduring temperatures of over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit without disintegrating. But the difficulties don't end there. Flying at hypersonic speeds isn't just about going fast, it's about stability. The SR-72 relies on artificial intelligence to make real-time adjustments and keep it on course, ensuring that at Mach 6, even the slightest correction is handled with absolute precision. What makes the SR-72 such a game changer? Let's start with speed. At Mach 6, the SR-72 isn't just fast, it's unstoppable. No missile defense system, no enemy aircraft can keep up with it. The U.S. military could launch an operation, travel halfway around the world, gather intelligence, strike targets with hypersonic weapons, and return home without breaking a sweat. But beyond speed, the SR-72 could provide a huge strategic advantage. Think about this. Traditional satellites are predictable. They follow set orbits, and in modern warfare, that predictability can be deadly. In contrast, the SR-72 can be dispatched at any moment, bypassing the limitations of space-based assets and offering real-time intelligence without delay. This flexibility would provide the U.S. military with critical, up-to-date information that could alter the course of a battle in minutes. 
Now, all this power doesn't come without a price. The SR-72 might be the epitome of military advancement, but with it comes an overwhelming cost. Hypersonic development is incredibly expensive, and the Pentagon would need to justify every dollar spent on research, materials, and testing. Beyond financial costs, there are geopolitical risks. The SR-72 could ignite a global arms race, forcing adversaries like China and Russia to accelerate their own hypersonic programs. The SR-72 could push the world closer to a new Cold War as nations scramble to match or surpass its capabilities. Furthermore, the secrecy surrounding the SR-72 raises eyebrows. Could this aircraft already be in operation, hidden in plain sight like the F-117 Nighthawk? What we do know is that its potential is so vast that the U.S. may keep it under wraps until it's fully operational, leaving the world to wonder what's next. The future of the SR-72 is still uncertain. Leaks from Lockheed Martin suggest that testing has already begun, but there's no clear timeline for its first official deployment. Some experts believe that the SR-72 could take flight as early as 2026, but the nature of hypersonic flight means that it could take even longer for it to become fully operational. What's certain is that the SR-72 marks the beginning of a new era. As the hypersonic race intensifies, the SR-72 could define not just military aviation, but the entire future of warfare. If it becomes operational, it will mark a paradigm shift, reshaping how we think about speed, intelligence, and military strategy. In a world where every second counts, the SR-72 represents the future of global defense. Its potential to strike, gather intelligence, and remain untouchable could change the balance of power in ways we're only beginning to understand.